When it comes to wet weather, nothing is worse than trying to find a place to sit. Um, I mean, there's all different ways to combat this, right? But there's a real super cool bushcrafty chair that you can build if you have your wool blanket along with you and a few tools. If you have that, it's, it's golden and it's awesome and it's super comfortable. First thing is you're going to need a big tripod. Now make sure with this tripod you use a full lash, not the quick lash that we teach here on this channel. Um, make sure you're using a full lash because your body weight is going to be supported by this tripod. Size wise for the tripod, the tripod when it's standing in this configuration should be your height. Um, it's going to just work out best to make the seat most comfortable for you. And then you're going to need a cross member. The cross member um, should go close to the bottom of the tripod pod before it actually goes through okay if, if it's bigger than this that's fine but not smaller you don't want it up here falling through the tripod now we're gonna take our wool blanket and depending on the type of wool blanket that you actually have is gonna depend on how you are going to fold this blanket in our case we're using a blanket that we sell on our site so what I did was I folded it right down the middle okay lengthwise so I have of the four ends these two ends came together on this side these two ends came together on that side now you can see it's nice and long okay but it's not too wide and that's what we want now I'm gonna take those four corners and I'm gonna bring them together like this okay work across the top and get this now what I did was I created a rectangle shape I'll fix this corner for you so I created this rectangle type shape now if I bunch this top up the bottom is like a continuous loop, okay? So if I stick my hand through here, you can see we have this continuous loop. This is important, okay? The top, we are going to tie two knots, one on this side and one on this side. For your knot, you're going to want something that's about three foot in length and you want it to be strong enough to support your body weight. Paracord is probably not strong enough for this. Um, you can try it, but I'm gonna say I would stay away from it. I would use a heavy clothesline rope or some type of rope like this. This is like a, a climbing style rope. So something like this is gonna work great. Again, three foot in length. So here is the top corner. Again, these are all open ends, not the looped end of the blanket, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, because this blanket is big and fluffy, I can't just start tying this knot. I need to take the ends and fold them in to make this end just look a little bit thinner and neater, okay? Just like that. Now for this knot, we are going to just lay our line across this triangle shape we created, fold the triangle shape down, and then take this line and go behind, leaving a loop sticking out that side, okay? Once we come around, we're gonna take this cut end, go in the loop, and then we're gonna pull out our other line, okay? You could pull that thing super tight. That is going to bind in there and hold in place. We're gonna come right to the other end now, okay? The other end of that top. We're gonna do the same thing with that piece of rope. So I'm gonna fold this in, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fold this over, fold this behind, fold this through, give it a tug. Now, we have our two sheet bends, okay, with our top loop, and then we have the rest of our blanket, of course. So it does, it just looks like a rectangle at this point. So this top loop you're gonna place over the top of your tripod, just like that. Now, the next step is where you have to play around with this a little bit to get the right height for yourself and the tripod you built. There's really no rule here. You, you're gonna have to play with the width of the legs and the depth of the tripod itself, okay? You're gonna take a cross member now. The cross member should fit almost all the way down to the base to be on the safe side. You're gonna take your blanket, place your cross member through your blanket, and then it should, rest on your two tripod legs just like this and now your seat is complete so just be careful when you first sit down because stuff might shift so just take it easy until everything settles in get yourself organized ah, now you can sit and enjoy camp and your butt's not going to be wet that is the absolute best part i can even hunt from here
Probably not bow. Rifle, yeah, for sure. So there you go, guys. There is a very cool bushcraft trick. An easy way to use your blanket, a few sticks, and a few pieces of rope to make a seat when you're around camp in the snow, in the wet, or even just when it's nice out, okay? Um, these big tripods are great if you have a more stationary style camp because you can set your um, tarp up underneath those things in a bunch of different configurations, which I know I did in a bunch of different videos. Um, and then when you come into camp, um, you can set this up really quickly and easily because all the components are there. You just pull out your wool blanket, or you can even use a tarp or if you just have a piece of fabric, you can pull it out and do it this way. So um, definitely another tool for the toolbox, way to keep that bum bum nice and dry when you're out like on a rainy day like today. Where is the snow? Where is the snow? Um, all right, so that's it. So check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Thanks for all the support. And until next video, stay in the woods and keep your bum dry. <laughs>